You obviously clicked on this video because you're looking for a carrier for your pet. From big to small, I found my top picks for the best pack carriers, and I'm going to compare them all for you. As you can tell, there are um, smaller versions, bigger versions. This one's on wheels. Um, so I've got some of everything from soft-sided carriers to hard-sided carriers. I'm going to go through each product and give you the details of all of them and tell you um, everything that you'll need to know to make a choice to find the best pet carrier for your pooch. Finally, a carrier for large dogs. A lot of the carriers uh, that you'll see in pet stores or find on online retailers, if you get on Amazon or Google and just Google um, dog carrier or search for dog carriers on Amazon, you will find tons and tons of carriers for small dogs. But what about those of us with large breeds that need to travel with our pet or will be, um, like for instance, flying if you're moving and you need to take your dog somewhere? Sometimes we need carriers for our large dogs. Enter the Midwest Home for Pets Scudo Plastic Carrier. This carrier, as you can see, is made for large dogs. There uh, are other sizes available. This is the 32 inch. There are options from 19 to 36 inches. Um, there are actually six different sizes available. So they are made for small and medium pets as well, but um, they go all the way up for large dogs, which is great. Um, this one that I have retails for $131.43 on Amazon, um, plus shipping, of course. If you don't have Amazon Prime like I do, I highly recommend it. Um, so the prices vary from $26.21 for the 19 inch to $137.92 for the 36 inch. Um, the dimensions of this one, again, as I mentioned, it is uh, 32 inches long. It's also 26 inches high and 24 inches wide. Um, you will notice that mine has caster wheels on the bottom. These are actually sold separately. It costs about $40 um, for the caster wheels. If you're traveling with your pet, I highly recommend these wheels. It makes it so much easier. Um, a lot of airports will have have those little flatbed carts that you can put the kennel on um, and drag it through the airport but these caster wheels for $40 if you're taking your pet um, your large pet somewhere these are a godsend you will notice that there's brakes on the back wheels none on the front um, when you get the casters you can put like there only there's four caster wheels obviously only two of them have brakes so you can put one on the front one on the back both on the back both on the front however you want to do it um i would prefer that they all had brakes of course just for safety precautions but that is the way it is um you'll see on the side here these things say push to unlock which you can't see but uh, if you jump on our website topdogtips.com there's a link under this video and um you can see a picture of these up close but you just push these and unlock them and the top will come off the bottom. You can turn it upside down and it'll nest right in the bottom for easy storage. Uh, so if you travel with your pet once in a while or you know if you're moving and you're not gonna be using this all the time, maybe once in a while to go to the vet or something after that, um, you can store it away fairly easily. I mean, it still takes up quite a bit of room, but it could tuck into a closet or um, if you have a high bed or something under there, it could go in an attic or a basement or something um, if you wanna put it away. So there's also a swivel handle on this. The handle does lock. Um, right now mine's locked just because I wasn't using it. Um, but the swivel handle easily pulls out. And then you have the handle that you can pull or push your dog. Um, this is ideal for airports, traveling. Um, whoops, sorry about that. That was kind of loud. It is made of durable plastic. Uh, it has a metal door. It can be used for airline travel, as I mentioned. Um, every airline has different standards, so make sure that you call ahead before you go, um, as you know they might require other things. Some of them require like a food and water dish um, or stickers, live animal stickers, things like that. So call and ask before you go. But this um, is airline friendly. Um, it's very easy to clean with the plastic, of course. 
First things first with this Petmate two door top load pet kennel, um, I just want to show you how to assemble it because when you receive it, it's not assembled. So um, you get the door and depending on which way you place the door will depend on which way it's going to open. Uh, I don't really have a preference, so I don't care. There's two little holes here in the bottom. I'm gonna set these in. And then um, on the top of this one, you can see the two little holes in the top. And it's actually, it's not these holes, it's in this little, um, the part that is raised there. Um, you'll see that and then everything lines up great. Now you have this great little bag of bolts and these little wing nuts that they come with. And in all of these holes around the edge and they're all the way around the pack carrier, you have to screw in these, the wing nuts on these bolts. So it's not a huge deal. It's certainly not hard by any means, um, but it is a little bit of a pain in the butt. It'd be nice if this just came in the mail already put together, um, but it is what it is. I just wanted to show you so that you know that it doesn't come all put together, but it's not difficult to assemble. Here's an up close look at the Petmate two door top load pet kennel. Um, it has a little handle on the top, easy carrying. Now this one's very small. This is just the 19 inch, um, but there are other sizes and other colors available as well. Uh, this one runs uh, about $39.95 on Amazon. Um, and obviously different colors and different sizes are gonna cost different. Um, so here is why they call it the top load kennel. You can see right here, there's two little um, levers, I guess, that you pinch close um, they pull these little things in and um, then you do the same thing to close it and it's closed securely. Same thing on the front. There's two little levers you're going to um, pinch together and then just pull it open. It does open um, a little bit stiffly just obviously it keeps your pet in there nice and uh, safely. So there's two doors for easy access. It's plastic construction. Um, this, even though it's black, um, the metal, uh, the bars here are steel as well as the bars on top. The handle is plastic um, and everything down here is metal as well. Um, it does have an ergonomic handle for easy carrying. This size holds dogs only up to 10 pounds. Um, so, you know, obviously you're gonna need a larger size if your dog's bigger than that, but um, the sizes don't uh, go up very high, very far. There's a 24 inch size available. Um, Obviously, this is a carrier only for small breed dogs. Um, there is a lot of ventilation. So here on the top and on the front, there is ventilation on both sides. You can see um, there and the back as well. I can show you the back has all those ventilation holes. Um, the outside dimensions of this one are 19.4 inches long. 12.8 inches high and 10 inches wide. Um, if you're measuring for your dog, remember with carriers, you need the inside dimensions, which are 16.5 by 10 and a half by nine for this one. It's recommended for dogs that are no more than seven inches tall and 15 inches long. So uh, that's quite a small dog. Be sure to measure properly. You'll have to pardon my chocolate lab Sadie. She thinks that she needs to be in every video that I make even though this one has nothing to do with her. Nope, down. So I'm gonna show you uh, the EVA wheeled pet carrier from maybe I up a little closer. This is the um, wheel device and this folds up as well if you wanna store it. Um, you can wrap this around and just hook it on up here um, so that's not hanging down and you can store it but for now, I'm going to fold it out. It also has this telescoping handle, so if you're going through an airport um, or taking the bus or something like that, it's really easy to use. Um, so I'm gonna face it, actually, oh, this way. I think it's gonna be the easiest way to show you guys how this works. Um, so here is the carrier itself, and I'm gonna show you a little bit more about that in just a second, but for now, I'm gonna show you why it's called the wheeled carrier. Now, there's straps on the back, Velcro straps here, and you just wrap those around the handle. And there's 
another one that just goes around and secures it to the top of this. Um, and then you have a spongy, which you saw that I put underneath. Um, so that wraps around and there is a hook right here on the very top. Um, so obviously you don't want to get it in with the telescoping um, handle. You want that to be able to come up. So you just hook it to that um, little hook up top. So your dog's velcroed in in three different places. You have this bungee strap. Um, he's in there. He's nice and secure. And of course, you can just wheel him all around wherever you're going um, through an airport. Like I said, on the bus, if you're just walking down the street, maybe you're taking him to the groomers or, um, you know, to a vet appointment or something. And you have to walk down the street. This is an ideal carrier so you don't have to carry your pack. As I mentioned, this carrier from Ibiaya is super versatile. Um, it is 19 inches long. Sit down. Stay. As I mentioned, this carrier from Ibiaya is uh, very versatile. It's 19 inches long by 11 and a half inches wide and it's 13.4 inches high. Um, so it's obviously meant for small dogs. It is only supposed to hold dogs weighing up to 17 and a half pounds. Um, the carrier itself, everything together, uh, weighs less than 15 pounds. So it's very easy to uh, carry around, you know, if you do have to pick it up for some reason. So I'm going to unhook the carrier from the wheel device um, and as I mentioned the wheels fold flat so if you don't want to use the wheels and you want to just store them you can set those aside somewhere um, obviously you should put all these little velcros back together so here you have the carrier. Um, it does have a shoulder strap, so you can use it just as a carrier. It also has a uh, strap for a backpack, which um, I can show you. But uh, right now, I just want to show you some more about the device itself, or the carrier itself. Um, so it has the window in the front here, and this can roll up. Sorry, Sadie's drinking some water in the background if you're wondering what that gulping noise is. Um, so the window stays open there. There is a zippered pocket here so you can keep some of your accessories, some of your pet's accessories. And you'll notice these zippers on the side. The zippers on the side are because, um, actually before I do that, I'm just going to show you. Um, so this part on the front, you can actually also uh, use this as a dog car seat. That's the four in one um, devices. It's the backpack, the shoulder bag, the wheeled carrier, and then it can also be a car seat. So you have this Velcro strap on the front um, and you're going to buckle the seat belt around here and then you can tighten this Velcro strap um, around the seat belt so that you're packed securely in the back seat or the front seat, wherever you put them, hopefully the back seat, um, if you can. So that's the four in one devices. Now I also want to show you that this part, the carrier part, also condenses down for easy storage and it's a very, very easy to do. Whoops, I'm not going to be able to have that Velcro together when I fold it flat. So you're just going to unzip the um, one side and then the other side unzips the seam. So you have both sides unzipped and then um, you have the middle section here that just folds down and can go right inside these. This is the tether that's on the inside of the carrier for your pet too, I forgot to mention that. Um, so, and then these sides zip together and it's all in one. You can take it with you um, anywhere that you wanna go if you're traveling or you can just fold it up if you want um, when you're not using it and put it in a closet or uh, slide it under a bed. As if it does not get any more versatile, if you take the carrier off of the wheels, so here is um, the wheels and that folds up obviously the telescoping handle um, can go down and that can fold up for easy storage now you have the shoulder strap and of course we all know a shoulder strap for a dog carrier Sadie go on can clip onto both sides so you can carry it as a shoulder bag of course now this is really long um, and the reason for that is because it can also turn into a backpack 
carrier. And if you're a little bit overwhelmed right now with the versatility of this and all the different things that it can turn into, don't worry because Ibiaya also sends you um, some really great instructions that are really simple to follow. They're just pictures. Um, so what you're going to do is using the shoulder strap, you just sort of thread it through here. Sadie, go. No, don't sit right there. One, good girl. Sorry, she's a, a showboater. She likes to be in every video. Um, so on the bottom here, there's two little clips. So I ran it through the hook at the top. And now I'm going to clip the ends onto these little hooks at the bottom. And, ta-da, you have a backpack carrier. And it's that simple. I am amazed at the versatility of this product. Um, the only thing I don't like about the backpack carrier is, um, of course, this is just the traditional nylon shoulder strap, so it's not super comfortable. It'd be nice to have a little bit more padding, um, especially if you have a dog that weighs close to that 17 pound mark. Um, you know, that would get quite tiring on your back, say if you were like hiking or um, traveling, walking through an airport. But the Pet Peppy Premium Airline Approved Expandable Carrier looks pretty standard. Um, it kind of looks like a duffel bag. It's got the uh, hand carrying straps here as well as the shoulder strap. And this shoulder strap is adjustable. Go on, you guys. It is airline approved, but again, make sure that you call ahead if you're going to be flying. Um, not every airline is the same and you don't want to take the chance of that. Um, the reason it's called an expandable pet carrier is because it has these little expansions on both sides. Um, the expansions unzip as well if you need to access um, your pet through there. And then there's a little door on the inside of the carrier that opens to allow your pet um, the room to come out into the expansion. And you can see the little faux fur lined, there's a little faux fur lined bed in here. Um, it also has a leash attachment so that you can make sure your dog's tethered and can't get out. Um, and then when you don't want the expansion anymore, you can just zip the um, interior of the bag back up and then zip the expansion back up and you're back to a traditional um, duffel bag style pet carrier. So that's really easy to use. Um, the zippers aren't the highest quality, but I think they work fine for this. There's not a lot of stress on the zippers, no weight or anything like that. Um, so I'm not worried about that. Um, there is a thick um, wire frame. You, you can feel it, but if you see if I press down on this, it doesn't bend. With a duffel bag, it would just fold in, of course. Um, so the thick wire frame keeps the stability. When it's closed, the expansions are closed. This is 11 inches wide by 18 inches long and 11 inches high. The expansions add an extra 10 inches on each side for your dog to stretch out. Um, and it does come with a little... Um, travel bowl and which is made of really um, kind of thin silicone so it would work great as long as your dog's not a chewer if he is a chewer um, you should look for one of the expandable bowls that is made of hard plastic um, and there's also as I mentioned there's a bed in here you can access from the top or from either side which is really nice um, if you have a dog that's a little bit harder to corral it would be, depending on which way it's easier to put him in, um, you could do that. And there is the little bed in here. The bed also has um, an insert. I zip this open. It has a little um, like pressed wood board insert. The cover can slide off that and it's machine washable. So if your dog has any accidents, that's nice. And then the press board is in there just to give it a little bit more stability while your pet's inside. Let's see if I can zip this all back up. It's kind of a pain with that shoulder strap. Um, but as you can see, the shoulder strap does come off really easily. There's also a little strap 
on the side here that can fit over the handle of a rolling suitcase. So if you're traveling with your pet, um, that's a great feature. You can just set it right on top of your rolling suitcase and bring him along with you. Um, it does fold flat for storage. That's another nice part of, um, whoops, the tether was out. That's another um, reason why it has all these zippers is it actually, if you unfold, uh, unzip both ends, the middle folds in. And then you can fold both ends on top of it for rolling, which is really nice. There's a lot of great features about this um, bag. It is rather small. Um, it only comes in this one size. They don't have a weight limit on it, but I would say if your dog weighs more than 10 or 12 pounds, he's probably not going to fit in here. Um, it is fairly affordable. It's $39.94 on Amazon right now. Uh, you can get a black bag like this one or a red bag as well. Uh, both are the same price and it does come with a one year money back warranty. So if you're looking for something for your very small dog, a carrier for your small dog, um, again, this one's airline approved, but check with your airline. Um, this is a really great one for airlines because it's small enough to be airline approved, but you still have those little expandable parts uh, so your dog can stretch out when he wants to as well. The Aspen Pet Pet Porter Kennel is pretty standard as far as small plastic carriers go. Sorry, I said kennel. Um, I meant carrier. This one holds up to 20 pounds. Um, it's $33.96 on Amazon right now. It is available in 10 color options and for dogs weighing up to 90 pounds. Um, so this is a really a good option for all sized dogs. Um, it does have a plastic shell and then the metal door. Uh, these open pretty similar to all carriers like this. You just pinch the top and bottom together um, and then it just slides in. Um, they, it does have 360 degree ventilation, so you have the front, the side, the back, and then the other side are all well ventilated. That also allows your pet to be able to see um, out the sides and the front. It might make your dog a little bit more comfortable. It makes some dogs more nervous, but if your dog is one that likes to see, um, that's great. It meets most airline travel requirements, but again, um, check with the one that you're flying with. This one's 24.1 inches long, 16.7 inches wide, and 14 and a half inches high. Um, it's recommended for pets up to 11 inches tall and 19 inches long. So make sure that you measure your dog before purchasing. Um, and of course, if you want all the details on the different sizes available and their measurements, uh, you can click the link below this video that will take you to our website, topdogtips.com, where my full written review is that has all of that information. The Poffick Pets Pet Travel Carrier is approved by most major airlines. Just be sure to check with the one that you're flying with. Um, this one retails for $39.95. It's 17 and a half inches long by 11 inches high and 10 inches wide. So this is obviously only made for very small dogs. Um, it does come with a replacement mat. There's a mat um, inside here, it Velcros to the bottom. And it has a um, plastic coated little board for stability that slides in under here. It does come with an additional one. These are machine washable, so um, it's really, oh sorry, they're actually not machine washable. They're hand wash only, so um, it's nice to have a replacement in case you have to hand wash one and then you have to sit it out to dry, it'll take a while. Um, so it does come with two of those and they do sell replacement pads as well. You can get two more for another $13. So. Um, that's not a bad deal. There's a tether in here to keep your pet secured. Um, this is the charcoal gray. It's also available in a khaki and um, a blush tan if you're looking for uh, a different color. It is made from reinforced polyester and there is claw defense mesh. Um, they say that this is more durable than the mesh on most pet carriers. I don't notice it being much different if your dog tries to claw and escape. I think he's still going to be able to uh, scratch his way out of here. So be really careful about that. But that um, the same can be said for all soft carriers like this. Um, so just note whether your dog's a chewer or a clawer. That might not um, work. This might not work for you. Um, the zippers are equipped with little mini buckles. Um, there's a zippered pocket on the front here, which doesn't have a buckle. Um, and then this little mesh 
um, panel here can open just to kind of give your dog, you know, a little pat or whatever. Um, but all of the zippers for the doors, there's this door on the top and there's access doors on both sides as well. They all have these little mini buckles so you can just clip them together just in case your dog's clawing, um, trying to get out, pushing it with his nose. Those are clipped together so he can't and again those are available on all the doors. Um, there's a little mesh pocket over here if you have some extra things that you would like to bring with you um, and it also comes with a shoulder strap. Again, and that's pretty standard um, with most pet carriers like this. They clip on to each side and then you can use it as a shoulder bag as well. Um, I do like that the lining is waterproof. It makes for a really easy cleanup if your dog has an accident. Um, there's also some reflective stripping you'll see here and it's on every side which is nice in case you're traveling um, at night or uh, you're walking somewhere that's dimly lit and you wanna make sure that your dog is seen. And the final thing I wanted to note for you guys is right here you see these clips on the side. Those are seat belt straps. So you can actually um, run the seat belt around the carrier and then clip the carrier to the seat belt which secures your pet if you're traveling in a vehicle. So um, it's great really for all types of travel. Biggest downfall is that it's only available in the one size. It's fairly small. Um, I think it's cute. I really like it. I wish it was available in a little bit of a bigger size. Um, but that's quite common with carriers. Most of them are made for really small dogs. The Pet Magazine hardcover pet carrier is quite different from others that I've tried. Um, you'll notice the hard top and bottom here um, and those are both waterproof. The unique design features these. Um, this is kind of a um, I don't know like a, a nylon um, plastic sort of material here. It almost feels sort of like styrofoam. Um, and it goes all the way around so that your pet has 360 degree view, plenty of ventilation. Um, the carrier itself is 17 and a half inches long, 13 inches high, and 14 inches wide. Um, it's super lightweight. It only weighs a couple of pounds, so it's really easy to carry around. It doesn't add a lot of extra weight because you're already carrying your dog around. Uh, they don't give a recommendation on the size of the pet that should be in here, but I'm guessing if your pet fits in here, he probably doesn't weigh any more than 10 or 12 pounds. Uh, you'll also notice the unique design. The top and bottom both zip off. Um, and actually, I can show you. It's a really easy to fold these, um, this pet carrier up. The bottom zips off as well. And so basically, you're just going to... Um, fold up there's a little it comes with a little bed that goes inside the carrier so obviously that fits in there really nicely and then you're just going to fold this um, middle section kind of in half fit it in there and then the top and the bottom are going to zip together so there's your carrier it's that easy um, they zip together really easily and then to put it back together um, you just line up your zippers on either side the top and the bottom um, and they zip right back together so this is a great um, product to take with you if you're going to be traveling sorry I can't do it um, facing the camera so I apologize for that but you just slide the zipper in Zip the top around and then you're going to do the same thing um, for the bottom as well. So if you're traveling, this is really great to take with you. Uh, if you only want a pet carrier for your dog every once in a while, you don't want, um, you know, you're not somebody that takes your dog with you everywhere you go, but um, you're going to want to take him maybe to the vet or um, out and about, you know, with you to a restaurant or something once in a while. Um, that is this is a great option because you can just unfold it um, and zip it together when you want it and then slide it right back in a closet or under a bed or something uh, when you're done with it. It does come with that little bed on the inside which is machine washable um, and it folds down for super easy storage. It is equipped, the other thing I noticed with um, these little zipper lockers. So there's a clip 
on one zipper, which obviously you can use to clip to the other zipper. And then if your dog's like pawing or scratching, trying to get out, he can't unzip it more than about an inch. Um, and it just pulls the other zipper along with it if that's the case. Remember that, you know, this is a soft carrier, so it's not gonna be great for dogs that chew or scratch. Um, your dog has to be very well behaved to be in this carrier. These run $29.97 on Amazon right now, so they're super affordable. Um, again, you know, they're lightweight, but they're definitely for a well behaved dog. This isn't going to work for a puppy or a chewer or a dog that tries to escape his carrier. Here I've got the Elite Field Soft Pet Carrier. Um, this is just a medium, so it's 17 inches long, uh, 19 inches wide, and 12 inches high. It also comes in a large that's 19 inches long, 10 inches wide, and 13 inches high. Um, so it's not a huge difference there. Both are still very much for small dogs. Um, this one's very lightweight. It weighs less than two pounds. I can't imagine the large weighs much more. You can buy this medium size on Amazon for $19.99 right now, and it's $20. $29.99, $29.99 for the large. Um, this is approved for most airlines. You can tell it has the handle there as well as the shoulder strap, which is pretty standard with most um, pack carriers. Sorry, I was looking for um, the zipper on this. The difference between this and other carriers is that it completely unfolds. You'll see it comes with a little bed here and the bed does have um, an insert, a hard insert that gives support to um, the carrier itself and also um, if you wash it, you can wash the covers, hand wash, um, and it has this little tether in here to keep your dog safe. So um, obviously, you know, if you have a pet, say you brought your pet to the vet to be spayed, he's still a little loopy when you pick him up um, and you can just kind of lay him on here and then zip it up around him. If you have a pet that's a little bit more uh, rambunctious, you can just unzip it enough so that only one side's open, put him in there and then close this up. Um, there's a mesh pocket on the back and then there's this mesh on the front on the front and both sides um, so your pet can see out there's plenty of ventilation um, again this is approved for most airlines but call ahead I always recommend that with everything um, the bed has that removable fleece cover you can see these little plastic feet on the bottom it kind of keeps it up off the ground just a little bit um, and this outside is made with a waterproof material so you don't have to worry uh, if you're bringing your dog to the vet or something like that um, there's also this little flap that folds out if it happens to be raining or uh, whatnot. You know, you can put this out and then um, your dog's not going to get wet on the inside. It does come with a three-year warranty from Elite Fields, um, a product quality guarantee, a 100% money-back guarantee, and a satisfaction guarantee. Um, I have a couple of larger crates from Elite Field, and um, one of the things I love about this company is that they stand by their products. That's always something that I look for when I'm making a purchase. 